16th when Jim Lowitz called me and said the building is on fire. Obviously, we just raced out of the house, and as we were coming down uh, US 70, we could see the smoke and the flames from downtown Las Cruces. And I had only been in Las Cruces for two months, and I just couldn't believe that we had gotten, uh, gotten here, and already this building is on fire, and now we're going to be faced with something that we would have never expected to deal with uh, in our careers. And it was, uh, it was a heck of a day that I will never forget racing downtown and dealing with all of the, uh, all the issues that happened that day with the, with the fire department, with uh, all the different agencies that were involved. It was a day I'll certainly never forget. My number one concern on the day of the fire was the safety of employees. I, I wanted to make sure that everybody was accounted for and that no one was hurt. And thank goodness no one was hurt. We only had one employee in the building on that Sunday, Brenda Massengill, and uh, she was able to get out safely. She was, of course, startled and scared, but she was safe, and that was the number one concern. And then we quickly transitioned to, it's Sunday afternoon, we've got to get a paper out on Monday, and we moved uh, that afternoon after, after getting our management team together and making sure the building was secure, uh, got into a ballroom at a local hotel, and basically we were ready to set up shop the next day and never missed a publishing schedule. And there was just an outpouring of sympathy and offers to help from so many area businesses, and it was certainly was appreciated. The decision to rebuild uh, on our lot on West Las Cruces Avenue took about nine months because there was, as you can imagine, there was a considerable amount of back and forth with the insurance companies, the adjusters, making sure that that was the best financial decision. We always believed, and we advocated very strongly here to our insurance company, to our, to our corporate uh, partners, uh, the, 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 best, the best thing to do was to rebuild a smaller, more efficient facility on a lot that we already owned. The decision to come back downtown and rebuild here was something, as I said, we advocated for from the very beginning. We thought it sent exactly the right message as a business that's in the TIT district that um, is an active supporter of the downtown partnership that we would be back downtown. It sends exactly the right message to other businesses who are thinking about investing in downtown because you can't have a vibrant city, in, our, in my view, without having a growing, vibrant downtown. And if we can play a small part in that revitalization, we were 100% behind it. As we thought about the design of this building and what we wanted it to be, a couple of phrases just stuck and we continued, so many of us repeated these phrases over and over again. Number one, that this is not your grandfather's newspaper. We wanted a modern, efficient, contemporary design that gave our employees open workspaces, clear, clean, safe environment to, to do their jobs. Um, we also wanted to make absolutely sure that the design of the building was consistent not only with Southern New Mexico, but also our neighborhood, this historic district that we're located in, and we wanted to be a good partner with our neighbors and again, I, th I think we've achieved that goal. But when we take people on a tour of the new building, um, and we've had we've been fortunate in this last week or so to do that a lot, one of the things that always jumps out at them, and this was a conscious decision on our part, and that was to make sure that the dominant visual element in the building represented the work of the employees who've been with this company over the last 130 years. So as you as you look around this building, you'll see a little over 30 historic front pages from the Sun News. And, and when people walk through this building and they stop and they look, and they're not just the obvious historic front pages, World War II ended or President Kennedy was killed or President Nixon resigns, but there's a strong element of local things that happen in Las Cruces. And it's really interesting for people to see how their daily paper covered those events. The other thing that's, that's a dominant element in this building that we're very proud of we are so blessed to have some great photographers, and you will see wonderful local photography sprinkled throughout the building. We're not done yet, we're still working on adding more interesting visual elements that support our, our journalists and our photographers. But that's the thing, just in addition to the fact that it's clean, it's open, and, uh, and it really sends the right message uh, to the community, and it's consistent, again, with that vision that we've been talking about. When you, when you look at some of the open spaces in this building, especially the conference rooms, there's a strong digital presence. Clearly, digital is the future of our business. And we have, I think, I have to go back and count, I think we have eight TVs planned for this building. They're all going to be connected in some way to the internet so we can show not only our website, 
but also display our applications for the tablets that are out there, whether it's Apple or Android. Also be able to show our customers what their ads would look like and what the experience is like on a mobile device, because obviously when you look at a computer screen to a tablet screen to a smartphone, there's a considerable size difference and that message needs to change. And so we want to make absolutely sure that every piece of this, business, this building is connected to the internet, preferably wirelessly, because we again we believe that's the long-term future of the business. And we want to make sure that we can, when we have customers in, our advertisers, our partners in to talk about the solutions that we have, that we can demonstrate them in a way that, that, that they can understand and also helps them craft the kind of message and the shape of that message for the different digital platforms that we offer. When you first walk into the lobby of the building, you'll see a couple of things. Number one, it's open and clean, and you'll also see our website prominently displayed, so, and it's being refreshed every few minutes, so people can see exactly the kind of digital presence that we have uh, right there in our lobby. We also made available uh, several computers, again, that are connected to the internet, so when people are waiting or they want to come in and, and be part of that community engagement with, with the news department or place a classified ad, or just browse the web, it's available for them to be able to come into our lobby and utilize some of the space that we've dedicated uh, for, their, for their web browsing. When we look to the future of the news business, the formats and the way the news is delivered is evolving and will continue to evolve. But if I had to look forward to the next five years, I think there clearly will continue to be a, a print edition of the Las Cruces Sun News that we can be very proud of. And our, cha our challenge as a news organization is to make sure, because we are the largest news gathering organization in this community, and we are, we are putting the most resources against news gathering in this community, but we have a special responsibility and a special place in the community to make sure that we are telling those stories. Our obligation is to report the news, tell the stories, and then put it in the platform or the vehicle the way the reader wants it. So if they would prefer to consume news through an app on their phone, great. We're going to be their number one news source. If they want to consume news through an app on their tablet, that's great. We want to be their number one news source. If they prefer to get it at a desktop at their desk or their home office, great. We want to be their number one news source. And we continue to deliver by far and away the largest audience in print in this market. And that's very, very important. Uh, and we, continue, we plan to continue to do that. So our goal is to get the information out in the format that the reader wants it and we are so fortunate to reach a little over 80 percent of this market every week with all of our different products. I think our employees uh, are thrilled to be in a new building, especially some of those folks who work at the old building. You know, as, as, as many folks know, the old Sun News was an old Safeway and it was way too big for our needs today. It was energy inefficient. Um, it wasn't, it just wasn't a really good work environment. And so for those folks who experienced the old Safeway building, the old Sun News building, and now to come into this building, it's a significant difference. And I think, I, I have just received so many positive comments from our employees and folks in the community that the building is a good design, it seems to have a good workflow to it. The technology we have in this building is considerably better than it's been in the past. Uh, from a networking perspective, we've got a great network, we've got great tools, we have new new equipment that, that will be deployed here in the coming months. And so we've, we're blessed to have a wonderful staff in news, sales, and really throughout our entire company. And, and, and we want to make sure that we're giving them every opportunity to be successful and to tell their stories, to take their pictures, to work with customers, and put together solutions.